Hello, my name is Judd Lauder, and let's take a minute to talk about mentoring. In this first episode of A Minute for Mentoring, we're going to talk about how the College of Education, Health, and Human Sciences views mentoring overall. The important thing to remember is that this is not an onboarding process. This is not something we do because human resources ask us to. In CEHHS, mentoring is very much about the stewardship of people, of bringing people in, developing them, and moving them towards promotion over time. Overall, in our mission, we seek to recruit and retain a vibrant, bright, and diverse faculty. It is our priority to develop an academic atmosphere that mutually nurtures, supports, and further develops all faculty members' teaching and research skills and assists them so that they feel part of a college community. Now, as you can see, this comes from a book by Phillips and Dennison called Faculty Mentoring, a practical manual for mentors, mentees, administrators, and faculty developers. This is an important text and forms the foundation of this ongoing series of videos and podcasts designed to support mentoring in the departments of our college. If you're looking for some really good information targeted to you as a specific audience, I would recommend the following. First, everybody can read the introduction. Second, if you are a faculty mentor, chapter one is all for you. If you are a new faculty and a faculty mentee, Chapter three should be where you start. And if you are a department head or someone who is working to develop mentoring for your department, chapter four will speak more to your needs. In CEHHS, we want to develop and provide mentors who are open, willing to share, and want to see the mentor succeed. And that is really the most important thing, the most important aspect of what it means to be a mentor, that you want to see your mentee succeed. You want to develop mutual respect and trust while providing a safe space and to help uh, your mentee see things in a holistic way. We really want mentors who are knowledgeable about the culture of the department and our institution, who have experience that provides empathy for a new faculty member's situation, have an ability to reframe an issue in a much larger context like a department or a university, someone who has experience with goal setting and prioritization, someone who understands the promotion experience, someone who has experience with students at our institution, and someone who has a lot of experience with the annual review process. Over the course of these next several videos and podcasts, I will be providing different resources and tools that you can use to develop yourself as a mentor, to understand your needs as a mentee, and hopefully to develop a department mentoring program that serves all the needs of the faculty. Thank you for taking time today to share a minute for mentoring. If you're watching this on a video, scan the QR code or visit the URL for more resources. If you're listening to this on a podcast, the URL is tiny.utk.edu slash C-E-H-H-S mentoring.